last session we had a discussion about we had we had a discussion about uh, sir what are various data structures are there list we covered set we covered tuple we discussed next and after that list list we discussed next and after that tuple we covered next set we discussed sir next uh, frozen set next uh, frozen frozen set we frozen set we discussed sir next after frozen set the next one okay that's all big also special two things are most frequently used data structures remember this one the first one is the list second one is the dict these two things are most frequently used most frequently used data structures right sir next uh, one more important point here is one more important point is yes sir what is the difference between list and tuple very important question for the interview room remember this one what is the difference between list and tuple okay you should aware next uh, what is the difference between list and the set list and the set next uh, what is the difference between list and the dict all these three are very important questions for the interview room you people should be aware sir can you please tell what is the difference between list and tuple please tell what is the difference between list and tuple can i can you spell out sir list duplicates are please respond list uh, sorry list and tuple what is the difference list is mutable tuple is immutable that is the main difference right remember that forget about all the remaining because all the remaining are similarities between list and tuple only one difference is there the biggest difference between list and tuple is list is mutable tuple is immutable once we create list object happily we are allowed to perform any type of changes in that object but in the case of tuple it is not possible remember this one okay next what is the difference between list versus set in the case of list insertion order preserved duplicates are allowed but in the case of set duplicates are not allowed and the insertion order Remember this one. So something like <clears throat> yes, something like uh, have you have you observed right? something something like uh, sir list under list under tuple a uh, list under dictionary. What is the biggest difference between list under dictionary is list is meant for individual objects dictionary meant for key value pairs this is what what you should aware sir because all these are very very important questions for the interview room you people should have clear clarity about this terminology right sir next what is the next sigma we have to talk about this one sir very very important point sir another data type the most commonly used data type in in python the most commonly used another data type in the python range data type are you getting right what the data types are range range data type remember this one so range data type is the most it's a it's a it's a it's a most commonly user type only compulsory you people should should aware sir okay range data type represent a sequence of numbers sir. remember that one the name itself indicates right range range data type range data type represents range data type represents a sequence a sequence of numbers range data type represents a sequence a sequence of numbers numbers like this right next the elements present in the range data type are not modifiable remember this one sir so it is also immutable once we got the as a range range of values you can't change that is nothing but range data type is also immutable right sir what it means how you can able to use this range data type i will explain with a small chota example then you people can aware very clearly right suppose my requirement is there are multiple forms are available sir 
first of all, sir, range R, range R, M, I'm taking, sir. Yes, sir. Can you please tell how many arguments I'm taking? Anyone, can you please tell how many, how many arguments I'm taking, sir? Please respond. How many arguments I'm passing? Only one argument. Hey, only one argument. N, N means one argument, uh, some value, some value, one, one argument, right? So it represent, it represent, represents uh, int values, int values from, from 0 to n minus 1. Remember this one, it represents int values from 0 to n minus 1. Remember that, right? Okay, it represents int values from 0 to n minus 1. Remember, okay? So now take a bit very, very special care. N minus 1, because usually, because starts from 0, right? Starts from 0, total n number of values are going to be represented. That's why 0 to n minus 1. Remember that. Even somewhere we had this type of discussion. Have you remembered, right? Somewhere, somewhere else also, we had already this type of discussion. Have you remembered? Uh, begin to n minus 1, begin to n minus 1, slice operator. Are you getting slice operator case also? We had a discussion about this one. Correct, right? Okay. So now, example, sir. If you observe, if you consider range of 10, sir. If I can take range of 10, can you please tell which values are going to be represented? Uh, range of 10. Which values are going to be represented, sir? Hey, can I? Range of 10. Which values are going to be represented, sir? 0 to 9. 0 to 9. 9. Remember that. From begin from 0 to n minus 1. Range of 10 is nothing but 0 to 9. Okay. Let me go for a small chota example so that you people can feel more comfortable, right? I'm sure. Okay. Here, let me start. Py, okay, r is equal to range of 10 I'm taking, sir. Yes, the range of values, the range of values stored inside r. Range of values stored inside r. Now the point here, type of r, type of r, then automatically, yes, what is the types are? Range type. Are you getting type of r? What the types are? Range type. For, sir, x in R. For x in R. Sir, for every x value present inside R, can you please print the x, sir? I want to print all values present inside R. Then, sir, what is the output by default you are going to get? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Sir, 9 by default you are getting. It's going to represent what? 0 to 9. Remember that. Now, R of 0, what is the value? What is the value? Can you please tell R of 0? Which value is there at 0 at the index? 0 only. Well, R of minus 1 I am taking, sir. Which value is there? 9. R of minus 1 means sir, which value is there? 9. Now, R of, take very special care, sir. R of 0 is equal to, sir, 777 I am taking. Can you please tell, is it acceptable or not acceptable? Can you please tell? Is it acceptable? Yeah. Is it valid or invalid? Invalid. Hey, invalid. Because, because range objects are immutable. Once uh, we created uh, some range object with uh, the required sequence of values, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that. By mistake, if you are trying to change, immediately error by default we are going to get, sir. R of 0 is equal to 7 range object doesn't support item assignment. Everyone can aware? Are you in the position to understand, right? So range itself is mutable or immutable? Immutable. We are not allowed to change the content. This is something like a tuple. This is something like a frozen set. Remember that, okay? That's all. This is a range. Range data type, right? So first form one, okay? Now second form, sir. Second form, I can take range of begin, comma, end. Sir, I want the... From so on so, 1 to 10, 1 to 10, or 1 to 1 to 100, something like I want to, I want to 10, sir. So, it is always going to generate, it's always going to generate numbers, sir. Represent, represent the numbers, sir. Represent the numbers, sir. Numbers, sir. From begin to n minus 1. Are you getting from begin to n minus 1? Okay, make, make sure, sir. Suppose I'm taking range of 10, 20. 
are going to range of 10 comma 20. Do you know which values by default is going to represent, sir? 10, 11, 12, dot, dot, dot. Sir, up to what is going to represent, sir? 19. Are you going to 10 to 19? 10 to 19. It is going to be represented, sir. Sir, my requirement, I want to represent the values from 1 to 1 to 1 to 10. What is the way? Sir, first let me show up to this right range. Ah, sir, for x in range R. 10 to 20, range of 10 to 20, print of x value, I am taking, sir. Can you please tell what is the answer by default we are going to get, sir? For range of, not for range, for x in range of 10 to 20, what the value by default we are going to get, sir? 10 to 19. Are you getting what the value by default we are getting? 10 to 19, not 11 to 19, 10 to begin to, begin to n minus 1, begin to n minus 1. Sir, suppose I am taking, sir, I am taking my requirement here. Sir, for x in range of, for x in range of 1 to 1 to, here just 11 I am taking, sir. Can you please tell what the x value you are going to get now? Print of x. What the x value you are, you are going to get now? Sir, can you please spell out? Ah, 1 to 11. 1 to 11. Please make sure, sir. 1 to 11. What is the output you are going to get now? 1 to 10. Are you getting? Take a bit very special case, sir. Why intentionally I am taking 11 means, sir? 11 means to consider up to 10. Okay? Now, let me consider for x in range of 11. For x in range of 1 to 11. 1 to 11. Print of x, sir. Are you getting? So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Up to 10 by default we are going to get. Okay, this is uh, something like a slice operator only. Okay, something like slice. Yes. So, now the first point is the very clear range of n. Next and after the second point is the very clear range of begin comma end. Sir, from begin to n minus 1. If you want to represent, then automatically this is the second form, sir. Are you feeling comfortable? Yes, friends, are you able to understand? Next one. Third one, sir. What is the third? What is the what is the third? Sir, it is a range a list. A group of values, sir. That's all. You can't use the word, sir. Uh, it is a list. Amit. It is just a sequence of values. I want to represent a sequence of values itself in the range. Okay? Like that. Now, form 3. Don't worry, sir. Only last, last form, sir. Last, last format, last format, right? Sir, now, here I have you observed. This is the one argument. Then automatically two arguments I covered. Then what the next argument? Yes, step. Correct. Three arguments, right? Correct, correct. Here, yeah. sir, range of begin, begin, comma, end, comma, step. Very important, sir. Begin, comma, end, comma, step, step. Okay, sir, from, from, begin to, from, begin to, n minus 1. From, begin to, n minus 1, n minus 1. So, with the, with the step, step increment value. With the step increment value begin to n minus 1 from begin to n minus 1 with the step increment value. Remember this one, sir. So begin to n minus 1 with the step increment value. That's what, what you people should, should aware, right? Sir, what is the way? How you can able to do that, sir? From begin to n minus 1 with the step increment value. Sir, what is the meaning? You can you can able to understand very easily. Because you are already familiar with the slice operator. Same terminology, right? What I will say? Sir, for x in range R, for x in range R, sir, here 1 to, 1 to, sir, here 20, 1 to 11, comma, every time 2, sir. Every time increment by 2. Are you getting 1 to 11, comma, every time can you please increment by 2? Can you please increment by 2? 2, like this, right? Sir, print the ah, x value. Can you please tell what the answer? Starts from 1. Starts from 1. 1 to 10. 1 to 10. But every time increment by 2. So, after 1, 3. Ah, after 1, 3. 
फाइव सेवन नईन लाइक दैट इज गोइंग टू कम करेक्ट आर ना सो इन द रेंज ऑफ वन टू वन टू टेन ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इज देयर सेवन एट नाइन ओके टेन इन दिस सर स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम वन टू टेन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम वन टू टेन एवरी टाइम इंक्रीमेंट बाय टू एवरी टाइम इंक्रीमेंट बाय टू सर वन कंसीडर देन जंप टू इंक्रीमेंट बाय टू इज नथिंग बट थ्री नेक्स्ट जंप टू इंक्रीमेंट बाय फाइव नेक्स्ट जंप टू लाइक दिस राइट वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन बाय डिफॉल्ट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सर दिस इज द आंसर वी हैव टू गेट लेट मी क्रॉस चेक लेट मी क्रॉस चेक फॉर x सर इन रेंज ऑफ सर 1 to 11 comma 2 i am taking sir sir print of x value print of x value 1 3579 remember that sir similarly if i am taking like this for x in range of 0 to 0 to 11 0 to 11 comma 2 i am taking print of x value print of x x value can you please tell anyone can you please tell what the answer we are going to get now प्रिंट Printa X sir, have you observed zero, two, four, six, eight, ten? But if you are going to get sir, any doubt? Friends, are you able to understand? Any explanation is required? Sai, what thing I have to explain? This is step value. Yes, the range is always applicable only for int values. Remember that range is always applicable only for int values. Only for int values. Okay, okay. Now here just observe zero to ten. Okay, begin to n minus one. Begin to n minus one. Every time increment by two, okay. So means uh, zero to ten. Every time increment by two, two sir. Means uh, first zero, next two, next four, next six, next eight, okay. Next ten, something like it's going to print. That's all. Next, uh, if I can take uh, sir, take very special case. It is applicable. It is applicable only, only for int int values, int values right. By mistake, if I'm taking sir, for or otherwise, R is equal to range R ten point five to twenty point six. Are you getting just observe? My intention is, my intention is, I'm trying to apply for the float values. I'm trying to apply for the float value ten point five to twenty point six. What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that? Float object cannot be interpreted as integer. Are getting float object cannot be interpreted as integer. Immediately type error by default you are going to get. Clear for all of you right? Yes friends. Clear for all of you right? Next and after that here I am taking for sir I in range or otherwise R is equal to range R. Uh, sir what about negative values? Negative values yes why not it is applicable sir. Minus 20. Minus 20 to minus 10. Minus ten. Every time, every time, can you please increment by two, sir? Minus minus twenty to minus ten. Minus twenty to minus ten. Then automatically for x in in R for x in R, sir, print up x. Print up x. Happily, it's going to provide as yes, minus twenty, minus nineteen. Are you getting minus twenty, minus nineteen, a minus eighteen, minus seventeen, something like that? Happily, it's going to provide. Are you able to understand? So what is? So, boss is clear, right? Okay. Next, sir. That's all. Next, for x in range a, for x in range a, ten to twenty, ten to twenty, comma minus one. I'm taking sir. Step value is minus one. Ten to twenty, or otherwise, 
ट्वेंटी वन सर वाट 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 अउटपुट बै डिफाट यू आर गोट सर जस्ट अब प्रिंट प्रिंट सर can you please guess sir uh, what answer we are going to get now what the answer by default we are going to get if i can take like this please respond if i can take like this what the answer we are going to get yes actually 20 to 10 every time decrement by 10 then can you please observe that 20 90 minus 18 70 perfectly it's going to it's going to be applicable are you getting right so even step value can be negative also sir every time i want to decrement i want i want to decrement uh, like this you can able to get okay that's all this is what you people should aware clearly about the range functions sir so make sure every time you are going to use in our applications this range function that's why you should aware range data types sir range of 10 everyone can aware what the meaning of that range of 1 to 10 next and after that range are 1 comma 10 comma 2 yes all the three forms you are familiar right please respond all the three forms of range function are you familiar right sir just a 10 means uh, 0 to 0 to 9 sir 0 to 9 next uh, 1 to 9 0 to 9 1 to 9 next and after that 1 to 9 but every time increment by 2 1 to 9 every time increment by 2 that's all this is these are the three forms are there for the range function sir why very easily you can able to understand why very easily you can able to understand here because we spend a lot of time on the slice operator have you remembered right slice operator range both the things are always same but in the case of slice we require to use okay yes ah uh, yes ah uh, okay one colon then colon two slice operator is always starts with colon under rounded with square bracket but the range function is always just like just like ah okay range is immutable uh, sorry range is immutable correct order is not preserved order is always preserved the usual order is always a sequence only right it's always going to represent sequence sequence that's why we can use the word yes order is there internally clear right okay slowly we are going to discuss about all these things yes just a both in some examples we may require to use slice operator in some examples we may require to use sir this range function and so on very common the range function where we are going to use is especially i want to execute a group of statements for a particular number of times sir exactly four times can you please print hello for loop for loop while loop those cases this range function is going to play very important role range range concept applicable especially uh, while while using loops concept while loop for loop there these things are going to be helpful remember okay but anyway once that the situation is going to come i will explain in detail just a bit sir all the as of now just give a all the three forms of range function not required to keep any explanation we are already very familiar with that right next uh, in python there are two important words i have to discuss are getting there are two two important important another important types uh, i require to i require to discuss right what the those things just a matter of two minutes observe a bit carefully sir there are another two types are there bytes type and the bytes byte array type are getting what is that bytes type and the byte array type let me let me talk about this also so these are also sequences only bytes type and the byte array these are also sequences sequences a group of values only okay like this right sir so now if you want to where you can use especially these types right if you want to represent binary information something like uh, i want to read the image i want to read image i want to, i want to read the image image data then obviously we should go for i want to read image image data then automatically yes sir this bytes and byte array is going to be very helpful right remember that so where you can use bytes data type where where we can use bytes bytes data type remember that remember remember that sir where it is helpful for binary data but anyway just aware what the meaning of bytes right sir you know the people who are coming from java background byte byte itself is what is the range what the range have you remember byte range 
in java in java minus 1.8 plus 1.7 something is there but in python so if you want to represent a group of byte numbers just like an array then we should go for byte type sir if you want to represent a group of byte numbers a group a group of byte numbers a group of byte numbers okay just like an array just like just like an array an array then we should go for byte data type okay what is the meaning of that sir one minute friends just observe a bit very carefully sir here i'm taking x is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 what is this one can you please tell what is this one what is what is this one yes list list now b is equal to bytes of x sir can you please convert this x can you please convert this x into bytes type can you please convert this x into bytes type yes converted now if you want you can ask a type of b sir now what is the type sir bytes type are you going to the types are bytes type bytes type right remember this one so now now for each x in b can you please print off b sir can you please print off b then automatically here for each x in b print off b for each x in b print off b print off b why it is going to come in this style man are you getting why it's going to come in this style one minute is the print function oh print of b i took <laughs> are you getting right print of b i took actually x value if you are trying to print the b now it is the byte object internally byte object that's why for x in b print of x print of x then automatically do you know 10 20 30 40 by default you are going to get okay i'm sorry sometimes what will happen is uh, if you if you are going to handle binary data it is always going to expect a byte byte data type only not list data type that's why convert into bytes convert into bytes and use that okay right so binary binary data especially this data type is going to be very helpful sometimes we are going to get the data into the bytes form that bytes form to other type we require to convert okay very rare not that much frequently user types are clear right so if you want to represent a group of byte numbers then we can go for bytes and data type but here there is one small twist is there what is that twist take very special case sir. there is one small twist is there what is that what is that twist here is compulsory okay in the bytes type the only allowed values the only allowed allowed values the only allowed values values are 0 to 256 255 only remember that are you getting 0 to 255 only remember by mistake if we are trying to provide any other value then we will get a value error remember then we will get what value error error right okay let me open let me open test dot py let me open test.py okay like that what i'm trying to take here is what 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 i'm trying to what i'm trying to take here is just take a bit very very special care sir okay what is the here just i'm taking here observe a bit very carefully sir sir x is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 14 okay like now b is equal to bytes are x i'm taking bytes of x sir now for each b1 in b can you please print b value okay just we should aware now perfectly it is going to work sir we are not required to worry at all perfectly this one is going to work okay here py tested dot py it's going to work yes 10 20 30 same mistake i made <laughs> now b1 b1 like this for each b for each b yes what is the output by default we are going to get 10 20 30 40 perfectly it's a value now by mistake if internally 256 is there can you please tell is it a valid or invalid 256 is there can you please tell is it a valid or invalid 100 percent pakka this one is invalid 100 percent pakka this one is invalid can you please tell what the reason 
can you please tell what the reason zero to two fifty five only allowed values for the byte are you getting zero to two fifty five now what the immediately is going to tell hey bytes must be in in range of zero to two fifty six sir we have just now we discussed sir. range of zero to two fifty six means uh, zero to two fifty five only are you able to understand are you in a position to understand even it is showing but range function 0 to 256 means 0 to 255 only sir 256 is not allowed condition number one condition number one in the bytes type all the values should be in the range 0 to 255 only okay like this next condition number two sir what is the second condition what is the what is the second second condition is very very simple sir okay so this byte data type byte data type can you please tell is it mutable or immutable this bytes data type condition number two bytes data type is immutable we are not allowed to we are not allowed to change content by mistake if you are trying to change the content immediately error by default you are going to get sir sir if you want the just a print of b of zero Print on B of 0, perfect. It's going to work, sir. B of 0 means 10. 10. Now, B of 0 is equal to 777, I'm trying to take. Sir, 777, I'm trying to take. Then immediately, error by default, you are going to get. Bytes object, bytes object does not support item assignment. Bytes object does not support item assignment. Immediately, error by default, you are going to get. Any doubt? Sir, bytes data time, either mutable or immutable. Can you please respond? Bytes are data type either mutable or immutable? Immutable, immutable, right? Okay, so this is so the only allowed values are 0 to 255. Next and after that, immutable. We can't change it. That's it. This is about bytes, right? Next, uh, byte array. Another type is there. So byte and byte array. Bytes and byte array. Both are exactly same, sir. Bytes and byte array. Both are exactly same. What the difference here? First one is the immutable, but second one is the mutable. Are you first one is the immutable, but the second one is the mutable, mutable, except that no other difference. Okay. Here 10, 20, 30, 40. Instead of bytes, I'm asking byte array. Are you instead of bytes, I'm asking byte array. Byte array. Okay. Now, now, sir, here B of 0 is equal to, or otherwise, just for, for uh, B1 in B. For B1 in B, can you please print print of B1 I'm taking, sir. Print of B1, B1 I'm taking. Can you please tell? Perfectly 10, 20, 30, 40, we are going to get. Sir, here 257 I'm taking. Is it valid or invalid? Hey, is it valid or invalid? Valid or invalid? Invalid, invalid. Bytes are byte array. Bytes are byte array. Range is always 0 to 255 only. Invalid, sir. Bytes, byte must be in the range of 0 to 256, but here 257 you are taken, that's why it is invalid. Okay, well, first rule is the same. Second rule, sir, what I want to take, B, here byte array you created, B of 0 is equal to 777. Is it acceptable or not? Can you please confirm? Is it acceptable or not? Yes, that's a, that is the difference between I, that is the difference between bytes and byte array. Bytes type is always immutable. Byte array type is always mutable. Mutable. Okay. Make make sure, sir. It is perfectly valid. So, boss is Jay Kirti. Okay. It is valid because because byte array is a mutable. Navabja. Navabja. What is the output by default? We are going to get. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. 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 Yes, yes, sorry. Here not a triple seven, sir, just a double seven. I'm taking because the range also we require to consider, sir. That is a mistake. Sorry. Okay. Now the first value by default 77 happened or not? First value by default 77 happened or not? Yes. Sir, triple seven is not in 0 to 255. That's why it is also one reason. But double seven I'm taking 100 percent paka, it is acceptable. Correct. Any doubt? <coughs> That's all. So, one is the mutable version, second one is immutable version. Beyond that, nothing answer. Wherever you group of byte values, if you want to represent, 
wherever a group of byte values if you want to represent better to go for either bytes type or byte array type if it is the bytes type if it is the bytes bytes type the problem is bytes type the problem is immutable if it is the byte array type the problem is mutable okay that's all except that no other difference indexing indexing all these things are applicable here also sai kumar indexing is applicable right b of 0 i'm trying to access indexing b of 0 what is the element at 0th index acceptable next uh, where especially we are going to use this operator where where we are going to use this concept this concept is applicable especially to represent binary data in the in the file i go file handling there i will use this types don't worry just say where in python these are also two data types what we have bytes and the byte array slicing is also applicable slicing is also applicable print r b r to column like this so from second index onwards until end second index onwards until end can you can you can you please print second index onwards until end do you know yes we are getting byte array it's going to get byte array in the form of byte array only then how to print this one is very simple sir for x in in b r second index onwards okay for b1 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 in p okay now print of b1 print of b1 now observe that 30 40 now observe 30 40 that's it. so kalyani while while developing the application automatically we will get that knowledge don't worry just the, we are learning pieces sir so these are various data types we have automatically we will have that knowledge at the time of application development clear friends but anyway all just for the syllabus sake all these things we are going to discuss we never going to use all these things our commonly used int type float type boolean type string type next list dictionary <laughs> are getting right so all only these things we are going to use not all these things okay tuple is also not that much commonly used type tuple is also not that much commonly used set is not commonly used list dictionary int float boolean these kind of things are common string is the most commonly used range function is the very clear you can able to use okay slowly just we are learning first time but while applying these things second time two time three times once apply you people are going to be familiar like anything don't worry clear any doubt up to this using python we can develop database at the front end what it means akash database at the front end what it means okay here just uh, take a bit very very special care can you please tell up to this what are various uh, data types we covered up to up to this what what data types uh, what data types we covered can i can i spell out yeah uh, what data types we covered int we discussed other float we discussed other next and after that complex we covered yes a um, bool we covered okay bool we covered yes here we discussed next and after that list we discussed tuple we had we we discussed set frozen set frozen set dict we covered are you getting next range we discussed next up bytes we covered byte array we covered that's all are you getting almost uh, 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 3 13 13 data types we discussed right so all these 13 data type a small summary table i prepared so which is there in our material okay which is which is there which is there in our material that part i will i will i will show so that uh, just uh, refer these then you will get a much much clarity about this one sir nothing will be there yes here python language fundamentals 29th page i hope can you please observe that yes summary of data types in the python 3 int sir we can use to represent whole numbers are you getting immutable next a float we can use to represent decimal values immutable 
okay next uh, complex numbers complex numbers immutable bulls uh, to represent logical values true or false are getting true or false next uh, uh, str immutable okay like this right immutable like we can able to use bytes type 0 to 255 immutable byte array mutable byte array mutable range is to represent a range of values to represent a range of values you know three forms are available only one argument two argument three arguments next to represent an ordered collection of objects is nothing but ordered ordered collection of objects in the list mutable tuples are to represent an ordered collection of objects but it is the immutable okay sets are to represent an unordered unordered collection of unique objects to represent an unordered collection of unique objects mutable okay frozen set an unordered collection of unique object immutable frozen set it is the immutable next dictus are to represent a group of key value pairs it is the mutable okay that's all, all these 13 data types at summary i kept at the at the single place so that you can you can get much clarity about this terminology any doubt clear friends yeah uh, these generally uh, kalyani uh, if, whenever we are using the word group of values list data structure okay like we are always going to use the word especially list tuple set dictionary these things i uh, by default we can use the word data structure word also inbuilt data structures okay now the next uh, small small things are pending sir so just a uh, matter of few minutes just observe a bit very very carefully sir sir now sometimes do you know none none is also one value is there one special value is there in the python sir okay none none is also none is also one special value is there in the, is there in the python okay next in dictate type values are mutable or not yes values keys uh, values are always mutable subasis okay none none so none means uh, none means uh, nothing sir are you getting nothing none none means nothing 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 sir so means uh, no value associated no value associated associated right okay next uh, if the value is not available okay if the value is not available to handle such a type of cases non introducer are getting if the if the value not available if the value not available not available then how you can handle such a type of cases right then we should go for none type none means nothing sir none means nothing nothing no value is there no value is there so if the value is not available then to handle such a type of cases none introduced right okay something like uh, null value in java are you getting something like null null value in java right in java sometimes we may use null null means nothing is there such a type of cases in python how you can handle by using none data types sir. sir can you spell out where we have this none none can you please spell out the value sir suppose sir s is equal to s is equal to durga is there now observe this one can you please tell can you please tell here durga is an object here durga itself is an object are you getting durga itself is an object yes sir e is reference variable for that correct or not durga is an object yes sir itself e is reference variable for that object okay make make sure sir it itself is the reference reference variable for that object itself is like this right now the important point is so s is pointing to this object suppose i am taking s is equal to none sir s is equal to none then what is the meaning of that a now onwards s is not pointing to any object if s is not pointing to any object this link by default will be gone if this link gone if this link gone then automatically this object by default variable for curve correction so i want to make this object no longer helpful no longer helpful then how i can make that object eligible for gc s is equal to none sir my s is not pointed to any object automatically the corresponding object by default eligible for garbage collection so s is equal to none means uh, no value s is not pointing to any object is it clear for all of you right especially in the garbage collector 
to make an object if an object no longer required to make that object eligible for copyright collection none is going to be very helpful very very helpful okay like now i'm taking just for basic idea purpose let me let me take some i'm taking the f f1 f1 function is there don't worry what is the function and so on don't worry about this one f1 is there sir okay return 10 i'm taking return return 10 so if i call this function if i call this function which value it is return which value it is return 10 10 sir basic idea i hope everyone have now print of f1 i'm taking what the output we are going to get f1 return the value we are going to get f1 return the value means 10 f1 return the value means 10 we are going to get sir now observe for a factor 10 suppose suppose this is a function not returning anything sir not returning anything a is equal to 10 that's all just it is assign a is equal to 10 but it's not returning anything sir not return not return anything if a function not returned anything if a function not returned anything anything then the default return the value for any function is none none we are going to get can you please observe what the value by default we are going to get sir none everyone can aware sir it won't return anything nothing is there to handle nothing is there such a type of situations these are none we are going to use especially especially in the garbage collector this concept is going to be helpful especially in the garbage collector yes sir this none is a very commonly used right are you getting next ravikant where we are going to use this column to define blocks in python Yes, there is a separate discussion in there. There I will discuss about that. Don't worry. <clears throat> Clear, right? Yeah, we will we will discuss next. Answer is asking a small doubt. Can you please uh, can you please uh, clarify, sir? No, I missed something. Yeah. Can you please observe, sir, if we declare, if we declare A is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, then A is equal to none, what will happen? Both A, both the 10 and 20 will be gone or not. What the answer you can tell? Please confirm will be gone or not. Will be gone or not. Yes, here, first of what you have to give A, here just observe a is equal to 10 plus 2 you are taking means that a is a pointing to sir object 10 a is pointing to object 10 remember this one so if we declare a is equal to 10 means a a pointing a is equal to 10 means a is pointing to this object remember this one sir a is pointing to this object this object like next whenever we are taking a is equal to 20 means that now onwards a is pointing to 20 now onwards a is pointing to 20 a is pointing to this 20 then this reference by default will be gone automatically this object eligible for garbage correction okay like that so whenever you are taking a is equal to 20 automatically old object 10 by default eligible for garbage collection now a is pointing to 20 next a is equal to none we are taking a is equal to none none we are taking whenever we are taking a is equal to none a is equal to none this link by default will be gone now this object also eligible for garbage collection are you getting right so after a is equal to 20 first object eligible for gc after a is equal to none both objects eligible for gc clear right all the remaining people also please observe carefully okay that's all this is about none none means nothing is there sir none none means nothing nothing is there okay like this okay none is the case sensitive n capital n capital it is the case sensitive take it the compulsory Next up. No, no can't. It is not there. Data structure's concept is not that much. What we call strong in Python. 
only homogeneous type of elements i want to hold uh, no such type of scenario because how you can decide type at the beginning are you getting how you can decide the type at the beginning because you never going to declare the type in python you never going to talk about type that's why type safety no guarantee at all type wise no guarantee so to hold only int values no where you can specify the type first only so is there any explicit collection where yes you have just observed that now kant is asking a good doubt is there any explicit collection data type hold only homogeneous data type elements no such type of scenario what the reason already you people aware clear okay yeah now the next things are very important do you know escape characters are there in every programming language these things are there sir escape escape characters are there in every programming language these things are there sir even in python also what are various escape characters are there anyone can you please tell anyone can you please tell escape escape characters right escape characters anyone can you please tell backslash n backslash n represent a new line are you getting if you want to represent new line then we should go for backslash n backslash t are you getting backslash t sir horizontal tab are you getting horizontal tab tab if you want to represent horizontal tab then automatically we can go for line next up backslash r carriage return carriage return are you getting carriage return next up backslash b is nothing but backspace okay backspace next up backslash f backslash f is nothing but form field we never going to use these things except n and t don't worry sir we never going to use these are not commonly used okay sir i am backslash v means vertical tab backslash v vertical tab next up backslash single quote are getting backslash single quote single quote symbol okay backslash double quote backslash double quotes is nothing but double double quotes symbol are getting double quote symbol backslash backslash is nothing but like a backslash are getting backslash 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 symbol if you want to use then we can go for like this are getting so these are various escape characters whatever allowed in the python remember backslash n backslash t backslash r backslash p backslash f backslash v next and after that okay so single quote double quote like this these escape characters are allowed no problem right sir best the best example sir s is equal to durga s is equal to durga software backslash n solution so like this i am taking sir okay print of yes print of yes i am taking sir can you please observe what the answer we are getting yes sir, durga software and then solutions is going to come are you getting that backslash n means new line new line similarly backslash t backslash t then automatically have you observed space is coming space is coming something like that. space is coming like this right the print ln is not there so basis only print clear backslash v means vertical tab vertical tab means maybe maybe some four or eight spaces column wise it may move just a cross check in the google but generally we never going to use these things except n and t don't worry completed are you able to understand these are the only escape characters right remember these are the most important or most possible escape characters in the python next up there is one more concept is there sir constant are getting constant how to declare constants right uh, how to declare constants anyone can you please tell how you can able to declare constants uh, sir once i assign a value sorry you are not allowed to change its value by mistake if any person trying to change the value immediately i have to get the error please confirm what is the way what is the way how you can specify that is the constant value i want i want to specify this one is the constant value how you can able to specify it is the constant value please confirm okay remember that remember remember that okay we have to specify we have to specify okay max some some variable name is something like that okay 
if any variable if any variable name contain only uppercase characters any variable name contain only uppercase character means that it is a constant means that it is a constant don't change its value are getting means that it is a constant don't change its value that is the meaning sir constant means the value never be changed never be changed right now i'm taking max value is equal to 20 max value is equal to 20 print r print r max value print r max value max print r max value max value like this right can you please tell what is the output by default we are going to get can you please tell what the output by default you are going to get how you respond man why you are thinking uh, what the output you are going to get yada yada because because hey, it is the constant its value is always fixed it is the constant its value is always fixed how you can change its value how you can change the value from 10 to 20 so not possible immediately we are going to get yada are you able to understand are you able to understand uh, remember that most of the people are going to feel like this perfectly like it is valid 20 itself is the answer <laughs> 20 itself is the answer don't don't worry because the reason is because the reason is there is a convention there is a convention that boss it is the constant don't change the value you can request the people are getting you can request the people convention that's all but it is not the mandatory so means strictly speaking it is impossible to make the value of a variable as a constant in the python are getting sir convention conventions are there what that convention is any variable any variable contain only uppercase characters oh it is a constant don't try to change its value uh, so the person who created his intention is this value is always fixed like a convention recommendation only we can carry forward but we can't change its value remember that are you getting right so is it possible to declare constants in the python is it possible to declare constants in the python no way it is impossible just the, but still okay up to certain level just the convention convention that was this value is always fixed don't try to perform the assignment like that you can able to specify that's all this is about constants story there is no constants concept is not applicable in the python but it's a convention to use uppercase characters if you don't want to change its value No way, sorry, Python having some limitations, one such limitation is no way to define constants. Can I go to the next level? Okay, that's all very important good news for you is language fundamentals concept completed okay almost around the last uh, 10 sessions almost uh, 10 sessions what we covered now just the basic language fundamentals uh, topic first topic got completed right now i hope everyone in a position to understand everyone everyone in a position to understand clear right okay now yeah subhasis you are asking something what it means i didn't get you the e f f1 a is equal to 3 print f1 of a what is the meaning of that mm. here just observe the e f f1 i declare a function in that function just i declare a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 that's it Uh, so your what your intention uh, i mean uh, what's your exact doubt i didn't get you so that's all 
this is one function where you are declaring one variable a is equal to 3 okay that's all now uh, yeah now you want to print the value of a if you want to print the value of a inside a function only we require to print it because it is the local variable outside of that not possible outside outside of that not not possible right sir f1 if i call f1 if i call this function we will discuss in the functions concept if i call this one we declare a variable and then we are trying to print the a now automatically do you know a value we are going to get Yeah, yeah. So, uh, constant is not allowed while implementing the coding. Like, if you want to represent certain value values of values, no, no chance at all. Constant such type of terminology not applicable. Kalyan. Yeah. So, what is? Are you able to get? If you want to print the value of a. So, what is? Yeah. That's all. This is the base set. Okay, in the functions we are going to discuss in detail, don't worry, sir. Okay, that's all. Now, just uh, aware, aware this, sir, this is each and every point, whatever I covered for the last 10 days, clearly documented, clearly documented, right? Just uh, clearly, clearly documented all these things. Better to just uh, go through that. Take the printout. Take the printout and then happily you can you can go through that all the things by default there don't worry sir so better to practice as much as possible at least basics sir you should have clear clarity okay base wise you should be a bit strong please so more please take a bit more concentration about these things sir. can i go to the next topic yes can i start the next cinema <clears throat> Yeah, uh, just uh, Ravikant, correct. Instead of print, you can return A, and the return value you can able to print. Acceptable. For loop is used in real time project. Yes, ma'am. Akash, for loop and while loop. Yes, both the loops are most commonly used loops only in, in Python. For loop, we can use in general, even while loop also. Yes, so I hope. Yeah, that's all. Now, the next topic. Just uh, let me introduce the next the next uh, topic, a bit important topic. What we have to discuss. What is the topic? Is operators concept. Regarding what the next topic here, operators. Operators is the concept. Okay. Very simple, sir. Very simple. What is operator? Operator. Have you ever forget about uh, Java? All these programming languages, right? Have you have you heard anywhere operator? Operator. Operator. Have you heard anywhere general day to day life, sir? So, suppose uh, in the olden days, sir, uh, movies, movies, sir, movie operator, operator, regarding movie operator, the he, operator not, uh, not came, telephone operator, telephone operator, something like normal day to day life. So, uh, telephone operator, next time after that, uh, movie, movie, uh, what we call uh, the operator not came, okay, that's why cinema getting delay. Delay something like that. Sir, any person who is doing certain operation is by default considered as operator, camera operator, telephone operator, or getting telephone, telephone operator, camera operator, something like that. So, any person who is doing certain activity is by default considered as operator, either responsible to perform certain operation is an ultimate operator, right? Now, so in programming languages who are going to play these operator symbols operators right some symbols plus plus is an operator which is the responsible to perform addition operation are you getting right 
Next one after that minus is the symbol which is the responsible to perform subtraction operation. Star is the symbol which is the responsible to perform multiplication operation, division operation, uh, okay, modulo operation, like that, right? So operator is a symbol that perform certain operations, right? Okay, so Python provides uh, several operators which are available. Yes, observe that. Are you able to understand, right? Are you in the position to understand what is an operator? Operator is a simple symbol, man, which is responsible to perform certain operation. Okay, like in Python, which operators are available? Okay, first one, sir, arithmetic operator. Arithmetic, arithmetic operator, arithmetic operators. Next, second one, relational operators. Relational, relational operators, arithmetic operators, relational operators are comparison operators, comparison, comparison operators, comparison operators, okay, relational operators, comparison operators, next logical operators, logical, logical operators, next fourth ones are bitwise operators, bitwise, bitwise operators, okay, next assignment operators, assignment, bitwise operators, assignment, assignment operators, assignment operators. Okay, assignment operators like next. Uh, do you know special? Some special operators are there. Python specific operators. We are going to discuss. Don't worry, all these things right. Arithmetic operators, relational operators, or comparison operators, logical operator, bitwise operators, assignment operators, special operators like uh, we are going to discuss. Don't worry about that. Sir, can I go for first level? Arithmetic operators. It's a very easy. It's a very, very easy, easy word that you people can able to understand because from our childhood and what we know, arithmetic operator plus uh, minus multiplication like that, right? Okay. Now take a bit very special case, sir. Okay. Sir, which are arithmetic operators? Which are arithmetic operators, right? Plus, next turn after that minus, next turn after that multiplication, next turn after that division, next turn after that modulo. Any doubt? Any doubt about, about uh, these five operators? plus minus multiplication and the division and then modulo next in addition to these five operators there are two more special operators are there please take a bit very special care about these things what those things is yes what is this one okay so here this is the division operator this is the division operator but two times division two times division this operator is called floor division operator. Regarding this division operator is called floor division operator. Remember this one. Floor, floor division operator. Remember. Next, uh, this operator is called multiplication operator. Now observe this. This is the division operator. This is the division, division operator. But uh, two times uh, slash symbol. Two times uh, forward slash is nothing but one floor division operator. Okay, like sir. Now we have star operator is there. What the meaning of star operator, sir? Hey, respond. What the meaning of star operator? Multiplication operator. Regarding what the meaning of star operator, sir? Multiplication operator. Okay. Instead of star operator, do you know sometimes uh, you may have double star also? What the meaning of double star? What the meaning of double star? Don't tell floor multiplication operator. <laughs> regarding sir we have two two slash symbols is nothing but floor division two star symbols are nothing but floor multiplication operator no no star upper double star operator is always meant for exponent operator is always meant for exponent exponent operator a simple power operator remember power power operator r a power operator r r exponential upper exponential operator for the meaning of that, we are going to discuss. It's not a double multiplication. So, boss says it's not a double multiplication. Okay, backslash backslash means it is an operator. Okay, we are not going to use as escape character. Okay, escape character is the different. This one is the different. Oh, hey, escape character is backslash backslash. Sushil, don't get confused. Backslash backslash is the escape character, but this one is forward slash forward slash. Getting right? Yeah. That's all. Sir, what it means? What it means? What is the meaning of that? Sir, there is a big division is there. There is a big division is there. That division I will I will take care. Don't worry. There is a big description is there, sir. That part I will take care. Just uh, a simple terminology, sir. Let me use uh, A is equal to 10. B is equal to 2, sir. 
just like how two values are there, a and b. Print r, a plus b, a plus b is equal to, is equal to a plus b I'm taking. a plus b is equal to a plus b I'm taking, sir. a minus b. Okay? Like this, right? So, a minus, next a minus b, and the a into, okay, here, a into b, next a by b is nothing but a by b, like this we have. Sir, so, total, total just the plus minus multiplication division, that's all. And then, even let me go for modulo also, because already we are very much familiar with these things, sir. Okay, well. Can you please confirm what is the first one for the answer we are going to get? A plus B. Hey, respond, man. What there inside? A plus B. A plus B. 12. 10 plus 2 is nothing but 12. Can you please tell what is the second one? A minus B. 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 means what? 8. 8. Next, A into B. Multiplication, sir. 10 into 2. 10 into 2 is nothing but 20. 20. Next, A by B. Please confirm. Please confirm. What is the answer? A by B. 10 by 2. Oh, yeah. 10 by 2 means 0.5. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What answer we are going to get? 10 by 2. 10 by 2. 10 by 2. What the answer? Hey, oh, you are silent, man. Respond. I want to listen. I want to see the answer from each and every person. Good, good. 10 by 2. What the answer by default we are going to get? Okay. Highly recommended. This point especially you have to take a bit very, very special care. What the point is? Okay. Listen carefully. In Python, division operation always meant for floating point arithmetic only. Even the result is the int. Both, are, both arguments are int type. But the result is always meant for floating point arithmetic only. Remember that. Okay. That's why. So, A by B, 10 by 2. 10 by 2, its value is 5.0. Remember, in Python, sir, in Python, division operator always meant for floating point arithmetic. The result is always floating point arithmetic only, no other type, right? Remember that. That's why floor division came in the picture. Okay? Next, uh, A percentage B. A modulo B. Sir, after A, can you please divide B? What is the remainder? What is the remainder? Can you please tell what the remainder is? The remainder is always zero. The remainder is always zero. Because 10 by 2, full division is going to be happen. That's why zero by the part we are going to get. Clear, right? Sushil, yes, the result is always 5.0. Float type only. Okay? Up to this, let me execute this code. So that we will get some, some clarity, right? Observe that. 12, 8, 20, 5.0. 5.0 and then a percentage b is equal to 0. So in the case of, in the case of division operator, it is always going to perform floating point arithmetic only. That's what you should evade. Any doubt? Up to this, any doubt? Okay. Now, what you got remaining two extra operators, whatever we have, sir. Very, very important. Okay. Print A by B I am taking. A, A by B I am taking. A division, floor division B. Okay. A floor division B. Sir, what is the, what the difference? Right? Floor, floor division. What the, what the, what the difference between these two things, right? Make, make sure you people should, should be aware clearly. Right? Sir, what it means is, sir, A by B. A by B. The result is always the result is always flow 5.0. Perfect. But A by B, A flow division B. The result uh, here just observe. Floor division operator can work uh, both for integral arithmetic. Can work both for integral arithmetic and the floating point arithmetic. Remember this one, sir. Can work both for integral arithmetic and uh, can work for integral arithmetic and the floating point arithmetic both. Sir, 10 by 2. 10 by 2, it is the integral, then the answer is we are always going to get 5, sir. 5, observe carefully, a by b, a by b, so floor division, 5, 5, 5, we are going to get, sir. If four arguments are intertype, the result is always intertype. If the, if the arguments are flow type, if the arguments are flow type, 
then the result is always float type remember this one now then the result is always float type okay like that. now have a look once have a look once first time first time 5.0 and then 5 i'm taking sir sir suppose 10 by 3 i'm taking now listen carefully 10 by 3 i hope you were doubt uh, i'm sorry your doubt will be clarified 10 by 3 i'm taking 10 by 3 what about its value what about its value observe that very carefully sir very carefully first time first time the answer is always floating point at the money 3.3333 something like this are getting floating point floating point at the money but uh, sir float result 10 by 3 floating point at the money only sir floor value what is the floor value for this floor means before interval before integral and the arguments are into type or not yes that's why into value only we are going to get floor floor means before value seal means next value uh, answer you can't conclude now next point is going to come there you can floor value means uh, before rounded something like okay any doubt after this i will i will go for one or two more examples so don't worry sir sir just a very very one point a very one point sir this blady division operator result is always float only don't keep any doubt at all the result is always float only okay like. but uh, this uh, floor division if the arguments are intertype the result is intertype if the arguments are float type the result is float type so floor division operator meant for both floating point arithmetic and the integral arithmetic but a normal division operation always meant for always meant for okay floating point arithmetic only okay well now i have one small small point please take a bit very very special case sir. what i'm trying to take here print a ah, 10 by 2 i'm taking can you please tell what the answer now at least I try to get much clarity you people are going to get don't worry sir can you please tell what the answer a yeah, 10 by 2 what the answer 5.0 perfect don't keep any doubt at all sir i'm taking 10 floor division 2 what the answer 10 floor division 2 what the answer what the what the answer we are going to get ah 5 5 because arguments are intertype the result is always intertype yes 5.05 5. perfect okay now now i'm taking 10.0 by 2 i'm taking what the answer can you please confirm third one what the answer 10.0 by 2 10.0 by 2 by 2 sir it is uh, always float result 5.0 always float result 5.0 always float result 5.0 now now sir here can you please guess what the answer Can you please tell 10.0 floor division 2? Ah, remember, remember that. Remember that. Floor division can work, can work for both the floating point arithmetic and the integral arithmetic. Floor division can work for both the floating point arithmetic and the integral arithmetic. Remember that. So if the arguments are float type, float type, the result is always float type. If the arguments are intertype, the result is always inter. Can you please guess what is the answer we are going to get in this case? What is the answer, sir? Just now I told. Just now I told. If the arguments are float type, the result is always float type. The result is always float type. Now, observe carefully. Observe carefully. 5.0. Getting right? Getting? So, this just this point only you have to control. Sir, normal division always meant for float. The result is always float only. But uh, floor division, if the arguments are intertype, the result is always inter. If the arguments are float type, the result is always float type. Okay, well, now I'm taking, now, now I'm taking, sir. Here, just observe. A is equal to 10.5, B is equal to 2. Print R A by P. Print R A by P. What the answer in the first case? What the answer in the first case? Can you please confirm? 
What answer by default we are going to get? The result is always float. 10.5 by 2. 5.25. Correct? 5.25. We are going to get. But what is the answer? So, the arguments are float type. The arguments are float type. That's why the result is float. But, uh, but uh, it is always going to return floor. Floor, floor means uh, sir, rounded only. Floor means rounded only. That's why the answer what you are going to get here. 5, 5.0. Are you getting? So floor division is always going to tell 5.0, 6.0, 7.0, something like this. It is never going to tell 5.35, 5.45 and so on because it's the floor value. It is the floor value. Getting right? Any doubt? Friends, any doubt? It is the floor value. Floor, floor value. 5.25 floor value, 5. But the arguments are float. That's why the result is always like 5.99 also, 5.99 also, floor value is always 5.0 only. Floor means before value, seal means next value. Behra, Pene Behra, clear right? Ah, result uh, not round to nearest integer, floor means before value. Seal means next value. 3.6666. Then it is a 3.0 or 3. I'm sorry. Next, it is not round to nearest integer. Okay. If it is a round to nearest integer, if it is a round, round to nearest integer. If it is the round to nearest integer, nearest integer, then automatically what will happen is now take a bit very special case. Sir. Okay. 3.9999. Point, 3 point then floor division, if it is rounding, then it should become 4.0. No. Floor division is always 3.0 only. Floor means previous value. Getting all the people? Clear, right? That's all. Okay. But anyway, very rare we are going to use this floor division. That too, it is the Python specific. Python specific only. We never going to use this type of thing. It is not there in Java. It is not there in the C language. Okay. Next. Next, sir. A is equal to 10. B is equal to 2. Print R. A into B. What is the answer? A into B. What is the answer? A into B. What is the answer? 20. 20. 20. A into A double star B means A power B. A power B. Double star means exponential operator. Power operator. A power B. A power B means 10 square. 10 square means 100 by the power we are going to get. Okay, 100, 100. First time 20, but second time 100. Nothing is there to discuss much about this. A double star. Double star means A power B. That's all, friends. So, these are the things uh, what do people should ever about arithmetic operators. Any doubt? Any doubt? Clear, right? Seal is not there. Seal division is not there. Subhasis. So, Okay, maybe in the next Python version we will introduce. But as of now, floor division only there. Uh, next, uh, normal a power b. While writing, we are going to use a power b something like this. But uh, no such type of terminology in the Python. a power b means a double star b only. Now, cut. <coughs> Clear, right? 10.5 power 2. Observe that. 110.25. And sir. Yes, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 10, C is equal to 10. Print up A into B into C. Yes, 1000 is the answer. Shushil, it's going to work. Don't worry. Any doubt? Maybe, maybe, 
some data science are somewhere may be help of all this flow division but i didn't came across any application where flow division must be required no maybe maybe in the mathematical based applications may be help of all. getting 10 power 2.5 <laughs> 10 power 2.5 yeah akash maybe robotics is it helpful akash okay okay yeah Maybe so just uh, Akash is updating this floor division is a helpful in the robotics area. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, priorities we are going to discuss precedence uh, socially as of now. He has up now just to give it up to these terminologies, right? Okay, next to tomorrow we will add some more extra masala just to familiar up to this.